welcome to um, Just For Fun Art. Um, today we are going to show you a piece of art that is really good and he's going to show you it. Today we're going to be making this piece of art. It's a camping scene on a hill. This part is going to, this is going to be fun to make. So, um, if you don't already have your stuff, make sure to press the button known as pause to go and get it. I got a hacker and a pencil from paint. Definitely paint and paint gushes. Go! Play! Okay. okay. Uh, so, step one is you're going to take your pencil. You're going to sketch out the, the hill. I'm not really going to sketch out the hill because I don't really like sketching, but I am. I do like drawing. So, for. I and you are going to get. Sketching is actually very helpful for and this. And you are book. going to get a paintbrushes like this. These type of paintbrushes. Or you can use any paintbrush you want. It's just easier to use these paintbrushes. So you're going to take some black paint and you're going to squirt it in whatever you use to hold your paint. And so we are going to get black paint, and then you're going to dip your paintbrush in it, and then cover up the hill you just made. So make like half an oval like yesterday. Now remember, this is your piece of art, not ours. So. Yep, you can make up. So oh, uh, show us your art that you made yesterday. Nice <gasps> job! That's amazing. I love that. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yours is probably the fa my favorite so far. Yeah. And so make sure you do two layers, because if it doesn't do two layers, then it's kind of white. And we don't want any white. The white is against the law, except for the stars and moon. Yeah. Otherwise, please try not to use white your painting will look nicer and more beautiful oh and make sure um something that my art teacher once taught me is that never overlap like if you're drawing something or painting something you make you want to make sure it's all going the same way especially when you're coloring and stuff and it looks more neat um that's why we always that's why you see me always going this way as a hillside I always go to the hillside. Okay. The straight lines. So now we have that done. First thing we're gonna do is you need to sketch out the tent. Like this, even if you don't like sketching, you have to. Yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sketch out the tent. So step one is you're gonna just draw a giant triangle on top of the hill. And then draw a mini triangle inside. So when you're finished kind of drawing like this, this, your drawings gonna look, your drawing should look like that. Okay. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw the steak. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a small little line up. It looks just like a mini stick, except with a circle thing on top of it. So it should. Let me show you. Okay, he's gonna show you because he made up this drawing. So when you're done the your drawing should now look like this. Then, now comes the fun part. Painting in the tray. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your paint. Do not paint in the mini triangle. Whatever you do, don't paint that in. You're just going to paint in the big triangle, not the mini triangle. I like to use a smaller brush for this because it's, it's a small tent. So I'm going to use a small brush. And wash out my big brush. Ah, wrong big brush. Now remember, you don't have to paint in the stakes. You, this is your drawing. You be free. You do what you do, you. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing animal shorts all the time, it's because it's free. Animals are free. Yeah.
and we want to be free. So, oh. There. Okay. Now you should have the pink, the black, the tent colored in. So here comes the confusing part. Um, you're going to need to take some yellow paint. Um, not, you don't need a lot because this is we're going to start painting in the mini triangle. We're going to paint the mini triangle in yellow so that, um, so that it looks like light is coming out from the inside of the tent. And we are going to use this paintbrush. And so when you there. when you when you're done it oh and by the way it's absolutely fine if it kind of smears and gets on the black because that actually makes it look more realistic because it looks like the light is spilling out. So now your painting should look um something like this. If not, make sure to press the button that starts with a P and then puts an E known as pause. To get your Play. Okay. Okay. So now that you have that done, we're going to start doing what I, what I call, and I told you this yesterday, the basic. So, me and my sister are going to share because we have a very limited amount of paint holders. Maybe next time our parents will let us use an egg thing so that we have much more. Uh, but we're going to need a lot of purple. A lot. And so we are going to get the blush known as the this. Thick flush. Or you could use, use another this. one known as this blush. A very long blush. But for now, I suggest you use one of these types of blushes because they're very helpful. Okay, you ready? Ready, set, paint. So you're going to paint the sky purple. Remember, straight lines. This one we're going to teach you something. With, um, and then at the end of this, we are going to show you a little game. So be prepared. And so... It's okay if you get some of the purple on the black, because remember, at the end of this episode, we are going to cover up the purple stuff on the black. So it is okay. Okay, so this is the end. We are going to start wiping it up. But at the end, this is what your painting should look like for our next episode. So this is what your painting should look like. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, our channel is called Just for Fun Art. Uh, we hope you... Love the video. Come back for part two. Um, thanks for watching. It is just for fun art. Goodbye, Bye. everybody.